be something we can do. Mm -hmm. It's time to take a stand. Yeah, so what are their symptoms? Yeah? What dosage are you taking? That's just not okay. You should not have to feel like this. Yeah. It's time to take a stand. the doctor say? Huh? Oh. Oh. Another medication? Yeah. No. I think you'll agree. It's time to take a stand. Welcome, everybody. I am Noi. Welcome to Phoenix Over 40. And I am super thrilled to get to share with you today the Jumpstart Movement. I am a health and life coach, and I am taking a stand against chaos, especially chaos that affects women in their middle ages. And I am taking a stand against chaos, physical, mental, spiritual chaos. And I'm hoping that you will take a stand with me. And in this video, I'm going to be offering a solution to help combat that chaos. And I'll tell you exactly what that is, you know, why it might be something that can really help you. I believe that if we heal our women, that we heal our world, because I believe that women have the ability to affect the mindsets, behaviors of their children. We are the ones that go to all of the parent-teacher conferences. We're the ones that, that, that volunteer at church to staff everything. We are the ones running the show, and we're often the ones, too, doing it at our own expense. I, I, want, I want us to look right now at the chaos survey that I was running for the last week or so. And these are some symptoms of physical chaos that you guys have come forward with and shared with me, and I'm so thank you for doing that. But I wanna look at a lot of these symptoms, constipation, belly bloat, heartburn and acid reflux. We catch cold and viruses quite frequently, gas and belching, chronic pain and inflammation. This is the 67% of the women that took this survey, chronic pain and inflammation. Insomnia, nausea, cardiovascular irregularities, hives, diarrhea, random flu-like symptoms, confusing allergy symptoms. This is physical chaos, but it doesn't stop there. Mental chaos, feelings of depression, overactive mind, anxiety, emotional eating, ruminating thoughts, brain fog, erratic energy levels, mindless eating that often leads to overeating, mood swings or trouble controlling emotions, trouble concentrating, a hundred percent trouble concentrating, trouble concentrating. And 50% of the women, we have mood swings, we have mindless eating, we have erratic energy levels. This, these are all symptoms of mental chaos, but it doesn't stop there. I don't feel like I'm a part of a bigger picture or plan. I never have enough money, no matter how much I make. Many of my relationships have been dysfunctional. I'm a natural people pleaser, and I feel like I have to earn love. I feel disconnected from my purpose, like I'm meant for something more. I feel like I was meant for more than what I currently have in life. I feel unworthy or never good enough. I use food, money, or people to avoid uncomfortable feelings. We can all resonate with that, can't we? See, I'm taking a stand against women struggling with internal and external chaos that threatens their health and their happiness and the ability to be present and productive in their lives. This is going to be emotional, so you just have to bear with me here. I'm taking a stand against the mixed messages in the media about nutrition and exercise that defraud and mislead women only to leave our confidence and our metabolisms destroyed. 
and I'm taking a stand against doctors who continue to prescribe Band-Aid solutions, order tests over tests after labs over tests, and just address the symptoms without providing us with the real strategies that address the root causes that, that will ultimately lead to our long-term health. And I'm taking a stand against women being untrue to their authentic self and dimming the light to those around them just so that they can feel more comfortable and make other people more comfortable and successful, but at our own expense. When we have everything within us to change, ladies, everything. See, I'm a 44-year-old woman with balanced hormones, no pain and inflammation, who loves to hike and surf and climb Cocoa Head, who feels sexier in her skin than I ever have in my entire life, who has courageously entered into a committed relationship with a healthy and supportive man of my dreams and is a successful self-employed entrepreneur. But that wasn't always the case. In 2017, I had to leave my marriage because my body had developed seven stress-related illnesses. I'd been married for 20 years to a man that I met in college, a very amazing young man who was handsome and driven and charismatic but who was also dealing with a lot of internal demons. We had babies and got married very young and I merged my life very much into his. He didn't like my music, so I gave up my music. He didn't like my friends, I gave up having friends. He wanted to become a minister in the Methodist church. So I also got a degree in Christian leadership so that I could help him and support him as much as I could. I did this because when he was stressed, he became a completely different person, mean, competitive, emotionally abusive. It didn't help that he turned to alcohol and other substances to try to self-medicate, which only made him even more unpredictable and erratic. So I believed that if I could protect him from stress, then we would all be able to thrive, me and our three children. It actually turned out that the opposite was true. My codependent belief system had me believing that I was not only responsible for his feelings and anxiety, but for his success, for the success of our children, for our financial situation, for the image that we had to portray to the churches that we worked at. I was constantly under so much stress, just trying to balance all of these balls, my job, our image, the needs of the church, the kids, the, his emotional needs, that my nervous system was completely frayed. And I was diagnosed by a few different therapists with PTSD. I would never been to war, PTSD. But I was no angel either by any means. I want to get this very clear, ladies. His anxiety and his coping skills, those were his responsibilities. But it was my codependent belief system that made me think and feel and act the way that I did. This is 100% my responsibility. And I blame him for none of it. In fact, it was the realization of this fact, the fact that I was the enabler that made me finally pull the trigger and leave for good. I was hurting him just as much as I thought I was helping him. Today, we actually have a very healthy co-parenting relationship. And after I left, he's made huge strides in his own health and wellness. He even got remarried. But for 20 years, our marriage and my life was in chaos. We can't heal in a stress state, ladies. And eventually all that stress came back to bite me in the butt big time. Dis-ease creates disease. And I've had my fair share of all of it. And if you resonate with any of this story and the chaos survey, survey results suggest that many of you do, I have an exciting solution. The strategies that I've learned over the last five years have literally set me free from codependent thinking, people pleasing, chronic anxiety, insomnia, hypertension, inflammation, acid reflux, food addictions, everything. And that's what I get to share with you today. See, I created a comprehensive program that includes strategies to combat chaos in our mind, body, and spirit. And, and it's in a way that's super easy to implement for any lifestyle, any busy lifestyle, because God knows we are all really busy ladies. So stick with me because I will be discussing the exciting opportunity that you have to join a beta launch of jumpstart protocol. And there's some really exciting bonuses that I'm able to attach to it just 
for those who join soon. So stay, stay with me. But first, we need to look at the top five offenders in the war against chaos so that you can understand the methodology of how Jumpstart works.